What's up, y'all? Thanks for tuning back in here to another episode here on the Speedbug channel. We got some ZR1 updates here for you, and we got everything here in the garage. So I figured I would go on ahead and tell you about this Joker that's a part here behind me. So here y'all go. As y'all know, here is my ZR1. I just got it covered up, so obviously now that nothing's on it, but I just went ahead and cleaned the engine bay. And as you see, we got no engine in it at the moment. Well, where is that engine? Damn, that rain is loud behind me. Hold up. So coming on over here, here is my long block. This is the LS9 that came out of the car, just sitting here on an engine cradle. And as you guys know, well, I'll insert the clip here so you guys can see. All right, so there you go. There's the head off the LS9. Balancer, everything here is off. And there is the collateral damage. Boom, sleeve is messed up, broken ring land. Off to where we go next. Heads are still good. So as you see, of course, I broke a piston. Actually broke two, but you can only actually see one here, but the, uh, excuse me, uh, number eight and number six, excuse me, eight and six is actually broken. Uh, but you can see number eight at, actually at the top. When I took this all apart, it had oil inside the intake runner, whole shebang. But, uh, and as you see, it scored up the uh, cylinder pretty well. So, uh, heads are good. Didn't damage any of the head, which is awesome. Uh, but the short block is uh, pretty much done. Can it be saved? Yes, it can be saved, but we're probably not gonna save this one for this car. Uh, reason being, because the power level that I'm looking to go after, and again, I'm not building another Snow White, but uh, the power level that I'm looking to go after, uh, sleeving this block uh, to a 4125 bore uh, may cause those cylinders to walk and move. And over time, it could cause the engine to either lift the head or have the cylinder walk and it's just gonna leak coolant inside of the combustion chamber or inside of the cylinder. And over time, uh, it's just gonna eat up coolant. And basically my engine builder told me, he's like, we'll do it but it's just not recommended at your, at your level. Have people made 11, 1200 wheel on aluminum blocks? Absolutely. I'm not saying that it can't be done or I can't get an LSR. Well, the big difference between an LSR and an iron block is huge even in the aftermarket. I'll jump more into that. We are gonna keep this blower, but everything else, it's, it's gonna get reworked. It's gonna go to Kong. We're gonna get their new lid and the rest of the stuff is still, uh, everything else has been pretty good. So we are gonna go with a new block. Uh, it is going to be an iron block. I know for my ZR1 people, it does suck, but you know what? The iron block, it's just going to give me the longevity and the robust, uh, you know, uh, the, the, it'll just be a more robust uh, engine in the long run if I decide to all of a sudden hook, you know, two, two nitrous bottles and spray it down with 300, you know, 300, a 300 shot or something. So it, it, it's just, and then if I, hurt a piston or hurt a cylinder, it's very easy to the point where all I have to do is just bore it out because it's not gonna have sleeves, it's iron. So it's just a more robust engine. It is going to actually be an aftermarket buck. We're not gonna do a GM LSX. We're gonna go straight dart. Uh, it's gonna end up being a 427 cubic inch, just like Snow White, but it's just not gonna be as radical as Snow White. Remember, this car is like 3,200 pounds, so it doesn't need to be as crazy as Snow White. So we're gonna put that in there, uh, obviously being, you know, uh, going from a 376 to a 427. Uh, that blower's gonna have to spin a little bit harder and work a little bit harder to create a little bit of boost. So we'll, uh, you know, overdri uh, overdrive the bottom, underdrive the top, make it spin a little harder. I'm probably gonna keep it on pump gas. I'm not sure if I've decided to throw some E at it, maybe, but there's not gonna be no meth or anything like that. It's just not gonna be needed. And I truly believe that, uh, eight, 900 wheel is gonna be very achievable with just boost only on pump gas due to the cubic inches of this engine. So I my injectors, everything else is good. That'll support that. I already got a fuel system for this thing. Everything's gonna be good. So uh, all the cooling is uh, for the most part all done. I got the big rad in it. I also have the uh, bigger intercooler. I have the expansion tanks. I haven't decided if I'm gonna throw another one in either over there or in the trunk just to keep the blower 
uh, a little bit cooler because the blower is going to spin faster before it has to make boost because the engine is going to be that much more efficient. For the people that understand tuning and how an engine works, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Remember, boost is a measurement of restriction. So at 10,000 RPM of what it spun on the last motor versus what it's going to spin on this engine, it's not going to have the back pressure boost that it's going to have on the 427. But everything else is going to be rain a street car. Again, 800, you know, about eight, 900 wheel is probably what I'm going to be shooting for. Uh, I'm going to still leave it on 20s. And, uh, you know, obviously throw a big clutch, you know, torque tube, everything at it. And uh, it, it should be a pretty fun build. Uh, who knows? It may end up making in the nines to maybe a thousand. I know it'll make over a thousand on, uh, on E. But again, I'm not shooting for a four digit car because I would like to still enjoy this and not destroy this car and make a race car out of it. If I really want to go fast or do anything, I'll just hop in Snow White. And uh, this car will obviously, I don't give a shit if it has 1,500, it'll still never be as fast as Snow White because Snow White even makes more than 1,500. So, but I uh, just figured I'd give you guys an update on that. And uh, that's for the ZR1. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you when we get some more parts along the buildway and get the 427 from late model engines. Peace out.